Welcome back to MMA Ads Break. I'm Frank Trick. That's Brennan Ward, just finishing up wrestling practice. You can see there in the background, getting ready to make a fight over there in uh, in uh, Bellator, of all places, in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Brennan's 8-1, getting ready to take on Mikel Prado at 11-1. and one. How you doing, Brennan? What's up, Frank? How was practice? What we got? It was good. It was good. We're just finishing up right now. What'd you guys go over? What's that? What'd you guys go over? What was today's practice like? Uh, we we uh we we went we went over some bow and arrow uh some bow and arrow finishes from the top. You know which one that is, right? Yeah. The high and the thigh. You know, crank crank them over. Get those back points. <laughs> what uh, where, where's uh what wrestling room are you in? Uh, I'm at my old college, Johnson and Wales. Um, it's a uh, it's a school up in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, we got a really big room, nice room. I can actually show you. Hold on. I'll turn the camera real quick. Yeah, nice size. Yep. No poles. Nothing in the middle. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's good stuff. What? Uh, how often do you get over there for wrestling practice? Um, every day. And then, when do you have time to do your uh, your boxing and your jits and everything else? Uh, I do my boxing at uh, I do my boxing at five thirty in the morning with my dad um, at our boxing gym in New London, Connecticut. So I do that I do that at five thirty. Then I'll go do like a strength and conditioning at like probably nine thirty or ten o'clock. Take a little nap, get something to eat. Um, hold, hey, turn the music off. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'll do that, and then I'll come here at, at 2.30, wrestle, for, wrestle, and then go to jujitsu after. I'm on my way to jujitsu right now. So, that's my day. And we, what are you going to do in jujitsu practice? Like, you've already done an hour and a half wrestling practice. We have enough energy for jujitsu practice this close to the fight? Uh, yeah, I'll probably go pretty hard today, you know, still being Monday. Um, I'll go pretty hard, and then tomorrow I'll, I'll start toning it down. So. And what's uh, you said your weight's great. You never have a problem making weight, right? You're still about 187. No, no, my, my weight's good. I'm probably under right now. I had a real hard practice today. Um, I probably lost about four or five pounds. Um, I should be about 183 right now. So I'll get something good to eat, and then I'll go do some rolling. Do you think that helps you out quite a bit? Because you are you are making weight really easily. You don't really have to cut weight. A lot of the guys you fight, especially Miguel, he he, he cuts a lot of weight. For him to come down and make weight, he's cut a lot uh, off, and he doesn't have that shape going to second, third rounds. Yeah, um, you know, like we had talked about earlier before, I think it definitely plays into my advantage. Um, you know, both my fights, I kind of, you know, I, 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 I did lose the first round in both my fights. Uh, my past two fights, I lost, and I, I, on the cards, I was down. Um, I ended up on bottom both fights. You know, the first one, the kid, I went for a stupid submission, got caught. But then the second round, I came out, I was good. I was in both those. I, I could already see in the face of my opponents that they were they were tired going into the second round, and I just turned it on, you know. And it was all it was good from there. Well, it so, looks like you have a lot more energy. These guys come in sometimes around you know 200 pounds when they fight you, and you're still weighing about 187. And then it's like yeah. trying to move them, so you lose the first round, but you still have energy. You're still able to survive. Uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup because he, he comes in with a lot of strength on his feet, uh, Parlo does. He, he's really strong. He's really fast, but he doesn't have that wrestling ability, that wrestling takedown. If you get in trouble, are you going to need to go back to being a wrestler to control the pace of the fight? Um, will you say that one more time, Frank? I said, if, it gets, if you get in trouble, are you going to start go back to being a wrestler to keep yourself in the fight? Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, I don't, I don't see myself having too, too much trouble with them. Um, my feet, but yeah, if I have, it happens, you know what I mean? Start taking wrestling, baby, wrestling on it. Hey, you know what I mean? So. All right, bud. Well, Brad, thank, appreciate you coming on here, taking a couple minutes with us. Good luck uh, down there in Bellator. We'll talk to you soon, bud.